This is the Pyongyang Metro for the North Korean capital. The escalator ride is the largest I've ever ridden and lasts around three minutes. Construction of the metro network started in 1965. At one point, it was the deepest metro to be created at a depth of 110 meters or 360 feet. Stations in the metro are named after significant events and leaders of Korea. Much of the art in the metro system follows the North Korean tradition of paying respect to the Kim family. Apparently, the Pyongyang metro is one of the cheapest in the world, costing only about 5 won per ticket, which equals about 1 cent. The train has two lines, and daily ridership is estimated to be between 300,000 to 700,000 people. On both sides of the train station, we can see murals. These murals highlight the traditions and beliefs of North Korea and serve to differentiate each station. Watching my experience, you can see that there are a lot of people on the train on holidays. According to my guides, if you come at the wrong time, it will look like the train station is completely empty and no one's riding the train because they're all at work. One of the common themes that we heard throughout our tour in North Korea was how hardworking and diligent the North Korean people were. We were told that people typically work six days a week for long hours each day. Before 2010, tourists were not allowed to ride the train station. The system is reported to have multiple stations that are under construction and some exclusive ones that are used only by the government. In 2015, it was announced that two newly manufactured trains were to be developed. The cars of the metro were imported from Berlin, Germany. The metro serves multiple purposes, one of which is during times of war as a bomb shelter. <laughs>